Hello, I'm Michael. The fourth firmware upgrade for the YPP2 has been released quietly. This upgrade includes two Bluetooth match games, subway maps of 24 big cities from around the world, and voice recording is supported. It is now also possible to establish private codes, segment hold functions, increase the number of user EQs, and support download games have also been added. It is surprising that it has been released quietly because many new functions have also been added. Also, since it now supports a new site and program called Emodio, it has become very convenient to use. Emodio has different characteristics from the SMS. I'll show you it later. If you want to upgrade your firmware, you can download the upgrade from Samsung.com or you can use Emodio. Then it will be installed automatically. You can install it any way you feel comfortable with. UCI is a kind of icon that users can make by themselves. You can make your own desktop using Emodio. Also, you can share your desktop with other users by posting the desktop on the web. If you use Emodio, you can use the UCI on the PC by sending it to the P2. This is Emodio, which comes from Samsung Media Studio. UCI seems similar to the SMS, but it has more functions. The most remarkable functions are my DNSE setting. We can set various EQs with Emodio, and we can make and add our own DNSE. The headphones and the speaker can be divided, and the effects of 3D, bass, clarity, and concert hall can be seen as animations. You can also send the DNSE to the P2 after you have saved it. So you can hear the DNSE which you made on your PC on your P2. In this case, it is possible to set DNSE separately depending on the songs. Two new two-player games that allow people to play against the Bluetooth have also been added. Of course, it is possible for one person to play as well. These are called Omok and Algagi, and they are very simple. With Omok, you can link to other Samsung MP3 players. Algagi can also be linked to MP3 players after updating. Overseas Subway Route Map includes subway maps from 24 cities around the world, and it has some simple information for tourists. When selecting a city, you can see a simple map of that city. If you want to enlarge a part, you can double tap that part. The tourism information is shown with an icon. If you tap the icon, you can see detailed information. If you use the voice recorder, which has been added with this firmware upgrade, you can easily record your voice.
After two seconds, the screen will turn off, but you can see it is recording with this indicator. When you press the play button, the recording will stop. The recorded file will be saved in the recorded files folder. screen will turn off, but you can see it is recording with this indicator. With an added code function, you can keep your P2 safe from other people. If you assign your number code with four numbers, the menu screen will come up after inputting the code. The existing holds were for buttons in the screen, but with a different option, you can hold only the touch screen. Before, if you tried in this way, like this, the buttons in the screen would have been held together. Now, if you change the options, only the screen will be held. The numbers of user equalizers, which can be regulated, and the number of possible users has been increased to three. This is a result of listening to user suggestions. Now more various sound fields can be easily applied. What do you think of this upgrade? If the last firmware upgrade was created to fix some bugs, then this new Samsung firmware upgrade must have been created to add some new functions. I don't know when the next firmware upgrade is scheduled to be released, but I am looking forward to seeing the fifth firmware upgrade. I'm Michael. Thank you.